Hey everybody, it's Tara here with the Academy of Being, and I am doing more questions that have been sent from my clients and followers on today. What are we talking about? Emotions. Emotions. How do I deal with mood swings? Gosh. What I would say to you is with your mood swings, the biggest thing that you can do is to take a pause. Allow yourself to move out of the space of judgment and ask what is pushing you around? So if you're on a swing, what is the thing that's pushing you? And how do you respond to it? So whether you're in college and you have tons of finals or high school and tons of finals, or you're in a job and you have big projects or expectations that are happening and many different areas where you're being asked to show up in life, you might need to ask yourself, how do you balance that out so that you're not all the way up here and then all the way back here, but you're in the center of yourself. How do you take care of yourself in that time? So one of the little ways that I can say to do that is in between the project is to take mini breaks where you do something that is kind for yourself, whether it's silly things like dancing to a song, you put it on one song and you dance for five minutes, you call a friend. And instead of talking about the things that you're struggling with, you talk about the things that you love or get to know what's happened that's brilliant in their day. I call this hardships and miracles. So this is where you maybe spend one minute talking about the hardship and four minutes talking about the miracles or the special things that have shown up in your life that day. This helps you move back to the space of your center, but also helps you to realize you are not alone. A lot of times why we're on an emotional roller coaster is because we're judging our emotions we're not learning from them and we feel like life is pushing us around. And so when you stop life pushing you around and you look at how you're truly being supported, even if it's only from an energetic level from your faith or from the universe or the collective consciousness, all of a sudden it changes everything. I did this the other day, even just for myself. Um, there were some things going on, like I had a lot of car issues and then, um, I don't know, I don't even know what the hardships were anymore. Uh, and so I just wrote those down. Like I did it all by myself, right? So I wrote them down for myself. And then I asked to be shown, instead of trying to find the miracles in my life, I asked to be shown the miracles by the universe. And so I just sat there and I waited for them to kind of bubble up in my system. And in the end, I had this little tiny side of hardships and this whole page of miracles in my life. And believe me, it wasn't the space of feeling like I was trying to come up with miracles. I was experiencing them in my system in a way that maybe I had run past them before. So I was actually experiencing them. So I'm going to go back again. When you're having an emotional swing, find what's pushing you. Okay. And so that we're not um, doing this to create blame. So maybe somebody else is making you feel, feel overwhelmed. How can you show up for yourself? Okay. So this isn't about them. This is about you. Like how can you take some time? time out for yourself. So maybe you're a parent who's working a job and you just feel like there's no way that you can carve out time for yourself. Or maybe you're in a huge deadline and you feel like you can carve out no time. What I would say is you can always carve out some time. So even if you just carve out one minute and you really spend that one minute connecting deeply to yourself, it makes a difference. And then maybe you can find two more minutes in your day so that you take out three minutes of your day where you're connecting deeply with yourself. And in that place, you're doing something like the Muse Method, which is a way to connect where you put your hands on your body and you close your eyes and you deeply connect into yourself and you breathe life into who you are. Or maybe you're going out for a run for one minute. Like you run to the, the stop, stop sign and you run back literally that can make you feel like you're there to support yourself. You're there to carve out time. And it also says to the universe, 
this person is investing in themselves, I'm going to come in with even more relief. Okay. And then um, try that out and then let me know what works for you. And we'll go from there.